basketball debacle. Some East Haven kids hoping to shoot hoops are angry after the organization they paid to play says there will be no games now until they can find a gym to use. News 8's Jason Newton is live in News 8 Control. He has word on what the school board and the organization are saying. Jason? And Darren, what's clear is that somebody dropped the ball and it canceled opening night of a youth basketball league for over 100 kids in East Haven. The organizers of the basketball league blame the East Haven school system. The school district said it's the organizer's fault. Caught in the middle of all this is the disappointed kids just looking to play some ball. Dozens of kids showed up to East Haven High School Tuesday expecting opening night of their summer basketball league. Instead, they found locked gym doors as they stood outside disappointed. I've been waiting for months to play. I've been practicing with my stepdad, and then once they told me that I couldn't play, I was very upset. It's typically up to league organizers to make sure this doesn't happen. So we've got kids that are here ready to play, thinking that we're going in and playing. Some of them know that they can't play tonight. Tina Lombardi just set up the basketball league called Baseline Madness a few weeks prior. She says the East Haven School District's bill to rent the gym for a total of 12 nights was too high and the bill came too late. We would have no way of knowing that it would cost $24,000 to operate a gym. The superintendent of East Haven Schools says it's very simple. They have a protocol to use their facilities and says baseline madness did not follow it. In a statement to News 8, the superintendent says Lombardi failed to follow correct procedure involving rental space of a gym. Parents like Camillo Florentino, who paid a $65 league entry fee for his daughter, and the other young players decked out in league jerseys, just hope that something can be worked out. She wanted to play, you know, excited to play, and yeah. all of a sudden, you know, when we have to tell her, yeah. you can't play today, you know, she, she got all sad. And I'm just sad that we couldn't play tonight. Now, the league's second game night is supposed to be on Tuesday. The organizers say they plan on finding an alternate facility for the teams to play at, and they pledge to make up the game that was lost last night. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Jason Newton.